Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. So if you identify yourself as an African American, you would be from the tribe of Judah. That was, that's your actual tribe. That's the same tribe that Christ came from. That's why we are here trying to convey to you that it's not about religion. It's not about, you need to be trying to figure out what is this Bible actually talking about. We have lost our way. We lost our minds. The reason why our neighborhood is in, in chaos like this is because we do not follow the Bible. We are here to teach you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. How we lost our identity. What we need to do to be able to get out of these conditions we live in. Are we tired of seeing all of the killing in our neighborhoods? All the drugs being sold? Give me John chapter 8 verse 32. John chapter 8 and verse 32. And he shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. It says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. What is the truth? The truth is that we are the we are the so-called Israelites according to the Bible. Hey brother, right. what's your nationality, brother? Come come deal with me real quick. All right. What's your nationality? My nationality is African American. You African American. Yeah, I got Cherokee blood in it. Right. What? So you got Cherokee blood in it, right? You African American. Do you know where the word Africa America came from? Where it come from? It's the name of two white men, okay. two conquerors. It was a brother. It was a a white man by the name of. Scipio Africanus okay. and Amerigo Vespucci. Well, let me, let me, let me be they straight with you. Let me, this let me area. be straight with you right yeah. now. Like I said, we don't have so many titles. Right. So we go with the titles. That, and he, exactly. And why okay. is that? Why we got so many titles? Because who gave it to us? Exactly. So we out here trying to show you. That's in the Bible why we got there. What's your I name? I don't understand, my brother, but Hold like on. I, I don't follow nobody's religion. No, nobody. we're not talking about religion right now. Come here. Okay, come here. no, 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 no. We ain't gonna get about started. Religion, though, bro. We ain't gonna get started. You miss, you miss. I appreciate it. Y'all understanding where we coming from. We talking about our nationality. Okay, we, we talking about our nationality. That's exactly what we talking about. That's the problem. The Bible is our history book. It is not about religion. That's it's right. about conduct and codes and where we're supposed to live our lives. That's it's not about religion. They came out here and made up all these different religions so that we could follow after their God. Who God is that? The white man, he created all these religions. I want to show you about all these false religions that was made up. Because when we came over here, was we Baptist? When we, were, when we came over on these ships, huh, we was Baptist? Yeah, we was Israelites, exactly. But I'm saying, you said what? We are the true people, but I'm saying, what, when we came here, what about all the different religions that's out here, right? Baptist. Pentecostal, Jehovah Witness, Nation of Islam, would be any of these things before we got over here. Man, what's your name, ma'am? Huh? Miss Shepherd. Miss Shepherd. What were we before we got over here, Miss Shepherd? You ever ask yourself that? My mama didn't tell me. I'm about to, I'm asking, I'm about to tell you. You ever thought about that? What was our nationality before we was called nigger? Negro. Black. This is all new terms, right? That's not something that we were before then. So give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm gonna show you, according to the Bible, it identifies us, our nationality, because we lost our nationality in slavery, right? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Read it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. So this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he says, all these curses shall overcome thee and overtake thee. That's what's going to happen because you do not deal, do what I tell you to do. He gave us statutes and commandments to live by, right? Mm -hmm. 
but we didn't follow him. Give me verse 46. Oh yeah, let me show you these religions right here. Look at all these different religions. You go to church, Miss Shepherd? What church, what type of church you go to? A Baptist church. Do you know, look at that. John Smith created the Baptist church in 1608. What was we doing in 1608, Miss Shepherd? What was our people doing? In a ship, probably. Yeah, probably in a ship. In slavery. Right, right. right. We, was, we was in slavery. We was getting brought over here. Yeah, right. Right? On these ships. Yeah. We was not Baptists. They forced us to be Baptists, you know? That's right. If we, if we didn't want to be a Baptist, what do you think happened to us, Miss Shepard? Yeah, huh? Yeah, we, yeah, we got whooped or we got killed. We got put to death, right? So we are here showing you according to the Bible, hey bro, you are Israelite. Did you know that? That's our true nationality. We lost our nationality in slavery. We were forced to follow all these religions right here. That's why we are here describing right now. What's your name, brother? Marco. Marco. See that? Look at the origination who originated all of these religions right here. You see that? John Smith Baptist. Joseph Smith Mormon. Charles T. Russell, Jehovah Witness, Charles Parman, Pentecostal. These are all created by white men. You think when they created the religion, they, they, they cared about us? No. We are followed. The reason why we follow the things that we follow today is because what? Our mothers did. Our grandmothers did. We don't, we haven't researched the, how this thing started. And, and what is it doing to our people? Is it getting us closer to God? No, because that is not our God. This is not, this right here is not in the Bible. Who is this right here? Who is that? Hey brother, who is that right there? Marco. It's an actor. It's an actor? It's an actor? All right. Who you say it is, Miss Shepard? Yeah, those are actors. No, I'm sorry. Hold on. Illustration. It's, it's illustration. It's illustration. It's not drawing. actors. This is accident. That's a drawing. This is a right here. That's a movie. Ain't who, that? Who is that right there? Is this in the Bible? That's a drawing. That's a painting. You got some brown hair. Hair wool. Brown skin, right? Right. I'm actually. So I'm saying. And in, in your church, in the church, how does he look? He looks like that. He looks like that. He looks like that, right? He used to look like that. He look. He. What you mean? He used to look like. He still look like that you going to church. Uh, some of them they Catholic took it out. Church, yeah. Some of them they took it out. But in the Bible, it describes how Jesus Christ looks. That's a lot. If anybody has this in their churches, that's a false religion. Period, point blank. That's what that is. Because it's not in the Bible. It's contrary to the Bible. Give me that in Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Start at verse 1. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Read it again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So what's the word revelation mean, Marco? Uh, reveal. Right, to reveal. Why did Christ have to reveal himself? Because he knew in the last days they were going to change his image. That's right. They changed his image, right? And made us follow after their God so that we could see them as God. Read. To show up unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. All right, read verse 12. Verse 12. And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. So this is John the Revelator. He describing what he saw. When he saw Jesus, he said he saw seven golden candlesticks. That's this menorah right here. All right? When you look at that, that image on the end, that's the menorah. He saw seven golden candlesticks. Read. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. So that's why we dress the way we do. We dress the way we do because Christ had a garment on down to his foot. He didn't have a dress on, he had a garment on. And that's how we dress, we are representations of Christ. You understand that? Read. And gird about the pep with the golden girdle. So he had a gold belt on. He had a gold belt on. This is what Christ looked like.
looked like when John the Revelator saw him, read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So does this image has hairs like white like wool? No. So this is this is one strike against this. This is showing you that this is not in the Bible. It says it's white like wool. So who has woolly hair? What nation nation of people have woolly hair? We do. We do, we do right, Marco? All type of people got woolly hair. Who is known to have woolly hair, Marco? Black people, Israelites, dark skin. Black people. Woolly hair. Yeah. What that mean? Tough hair? No, like you, you, do you know where wool come from? Wool is tough, right? Wool comes from a lamb or sheep. Right, that's why, that's what, it's curly. You know what, wool, people that have wool hair, this is woolly hair. This is woolly hair right here. It's a perfect example of woolly hair. Christ had woolly hair. Read. As white as snow. And his hair was as white as snow because he was in his glory. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So he had his eyes were red. You know why his eyes? White as snow. Yes, it's white as snow. Why I won't be white? You said why, why I gotta be white as snow? Why I can't be black as because he was in his glory, like I said, when he went up to the Father, when he went up to the Father, his hair was changed when he came back, when he saw. Also, another representation of having white hair is to have wisdom, right? When you see, back in the day, you know how the, the, the white man would kind of make himself look like he was wise? Remember in those old movies, they would put those wigs on their heads and like be judges? The same thing. So that's white the hair is a depiction, depiction of having wisdom as well. His hair was as wool, and his what was white as snow. Read that again. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool, his as white as snow. So it says his head and his hair. So the hair on his head and the hair on his face. His white. beard was gray. white as snow. So it was like gray, he got old. Right. He had white hair. It says it was the pure white. That's the color was white. Read. And his eyes was a flame of fire. And his feet. Why is his eyes was red? It's a good question. That should be a question y'all should be asking. Why was his eyes red? Do, do God care about race? Yes, God cares about race. So God don't God care about Give me what color my skin here. is? Yes, he, yes, he cares about the color. He, he, he cares, it's not about the color of your skin. Genesis chapter two, verse seven. But listen, God cares about our nationality, our nation. He only cares about us. I don't want no God like that. Well, that's, you don't have to worry. That's, that's how he made us. He made you to be just like him. He didn't choose everybody else. No, give me Deuteronomy seven and six. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So listen, this is talking to the Israelites. It's not talking to everybody. He says, thou art a holy people. You are a holy people unto the Lord your God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above who? Above who? All people. Above who? All people. That's in the Bible. He chose us to be above all people. That's right. That's who. That's what God did. God is the creator of everything. He has. To, he can decide if he wants a special people to him. Correct? That's what he decided. He showed us in the Bible that we are God to so the people. Who we are and what we got to do to get out of these conditions. So, can you read that one more time? Read it again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Does that, does that sound like he cares about race? Does that sound like he cares about race? He said, I chose you to be a special people. Right? It's not no denying that. Read. Above all people. Above all people. It's, look, when you go to churches, 
They have lied to us to say that we all created equal. Even when they made the Constitution, were we all created equal? No. The Bible has never been a time and point when we were all created equal. That's not in there. It's going to always be a ruling power. It's always going to be a servant power. That's right. That's the way it is. There's no way to get around it. We are God's chosen people. The question that we should be asking ourselves is, how can we get out these conditions? How can we get on top? What do you hope for? What is your hope? Peace. Your hope is peace? What, what is yours, Michelle? Health. Health, okay. What about, what about you, Marco? So hope, you got any hope? Uh, so hope. Come over here and deal with us, brother. I want us to stop killing each other. You want to stop killing each other. But all right, so what do we got to do? What got to be done for this? Because we hate each other, man. Right, why is that? The black man is scared of another black man. Right, because we disobey God. We do not follow his commandments. You understand what I'm saying? But let me ask you a question. What's your nationality, brother? That's African American. Right, so how did you get that name? How did I get that name? Do you know what Africa came from? That name, that, that title? Yeah, it came from a white person named Africa who renamed Africa. Exactly. Yeah. So you're and then America is from where? You say like an educated man. America, where did where did that name came from? Right. It came from white people too. Chris, uh, did, did Christopher Columbus renamed it America? No. Who named it America? It was also a man by Amerigo Vespucci. Oh, okay. Amerigo Vespucci. But look, if you identify, let me show you something. Because we out here trying to show you that this is not a religious book. This is our historical records of what happened to us. That's the difference in what y'all are thinking about right now. This is historical records. We have been lied to. We could not read and write for hundreds of years. That's right. When we were retaught the Bible, it was through the perspective of the white man. That's what happened, all right? So if you identify yourself as an African-American, you would be from the tribe of Judah. That was, that's your actual tribe. That's the same tribe that Christ came from. That's why we are here trying to convey to you that it's not about religion. It's not about, you need to be trying to figure out what is this Bible actually talking about. We have lost our way. We lost our minds. The reason why our neighborhood is in, ca in chaos like this because we do not follow the Bible. Let me get back to Deuteronomy 28 because I want to get to the foundation of it. Read. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses is talking to the children of Israel. He said, if you do not obey these laws, statutes, and commandments, all these curses shall come upon thee. Now, as a nation of people, as the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans are cursed people, I'm going to start with you, Marco. Is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans a cursed people? No. No? You. Okay, I can, I can argue that both ways. I used to debate. Well, I don't want to argue. Okay, yes so, and no for that, because I want to make sure everybody gets a chance uh, to Well, I'm, I'm going to say I stand in the middle of that. I'm neutral on that. Okay, what about you, Jill? You neutral too? Okay, let me ask you. All right, go to this. Read the next verse. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Read it again. Shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So any cities that so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans live in collectively, how are those cities? Detroit, Chicago. What happens in these cities? Miami, New York, LA. How you just say we Israelites? How we curse? Israelites. We're cursed because we disobey God's law. That's right. That's why we're cursed. We do not follow God's law. What is a nation? Nation is men leading by example.